Um, today I thought I would recreate this look because some of you guys have been requesting it. And it's super easy to do. All you need is some blush. Any kind of blush. I like this because you can like put it in a little circle like a doll. <laughs> it decided to go skating. Any kind of black eyeliner because that will be the main part. Make sure it's like pretty full. Um, any kind of white makeup, Halloween makeup, face paint. I just happen to have this jumbo white eye pencil. And I find that it works really good. And then any kind of red or pink lipstick. Just depends on what your doll costume looks like. Um, I personally like the liquid because I feel like it stays in place better. Because you're going to be drawing a little heart on your lips. And it will move around and smear. So, let's get started. I had to... Um, get a little mirror thing because I'm in my kitchen. Okay, so get under your eye up there, like where your the end of your eye, like like under your eye, like make a little half circle thing and fill that in. You can get it on your bottom eyelashes. It just makes it look, I don't know. Alright, just, I made that really sloppy because I cannot really see on the other side. And then I'll fix the rest of that in a minute. But then you gotta get your water line, which is up there, if you don't know. <laughs> And pour it in right there. And just draw on it. But don't draw on your eye. Because that not, might not feel very good. Uh, okay, here we go. I'll just color my eyelashes there. Alright. So. That's like the bottom of that. Let me fix that. Alright. That's pretty good. You can take it down as low as you want. But you can do that first. But you don't do it on top of your eye because you're going to be putting some eyeshadow up there. Let's see. And you can do your eyeliner, but I think I'm going to do my other eye first right here. Well, let's do that one off camera so the video doesn't yeah, too long. Yeah, because it's gonna get long with all the eyeliner <laughs> all right now that we've got this done this creates most of your doll creepy doll look and now it's time to use all of your eyeliner pretty much it's not really wasting though because if it's for like Halloween but like it doesn't really matter if this looks great because you're going under under it with eyeliner so let me move this back here Alrighty. And just, you might have to, um, just get a line right there. Because you might have to take some of this off down there because sometimes you can't avoid going right on the lines. So it's okay if it kind of goes inside because once you get a Q-tip and some makeup remover, that just comes right off really easily. So, I'm going to get um, Q-tip and some makeup removal oil stuff and get this off under here and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I got that off with this little, these little Q-tips. <laughs> and now it's time to outline the bottom of the other eye and then I got the white off from under it. You can just go um, at the through the bottom of it, but I kind of feel like, I don't know. But now that I've done that, let me get on these. Just get a rough <laughs> place right there. All right, so I went ahead and did this one off camera, and now it's time to draw on your creepy doll lashes. So just make them really, really long.
Alright, so there's your creepy doll lashes, and you can make them longer or shorter if you want. Let me get the picture back up. Let's see. In the picture, I didn't go up here, but you can do that if you want. Like in the picture right here, I don't have that going all the way up. But actually, I'm going to do my little mouth lines first, like a puppet. Let me just get this. Alright, now I'm going to do my puppet lines down here. Okay. Just keep your eyeliner in the same place and like just move your head up. Alright, so then you get your little puppet mouth lines. So I'm going to do your other lashes off camera. Yeah. Alright, so now it's time to do the main crack going down your face. And you take it through here and down there. So you can actually do this before you do the long eyelashes. But it doesn't really matter. You can make it thick or thin. Or you can make it both. And you may have to go back over this. Just depending on if it grew on or if it's off. Alright, so I'm going to have to go over like these. But then it just kind of goes through your face. Alright, so now I'm doing the stitch. And I said we were going to be using a lot of eyeliner. And now you know that I meant it. Don't use like good eyeliner. Well, all eyeliner is good, but maybe use like old. Use don't. cheaper eyeliner. Yeah, not like brand new. Don't use new eyeliner either. And just like kind of drape them up. But right now, I kind of just did like a V, but. All right, so I've got one more big crack over here I'm going to do. And just kind of draw a weird um, rectangle square shape thing. All right, so. Get that weird shape. All right. And then you can make it um, as big or as small as you want, but just color that in. All right, so it's pretty much colored in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Look, and then just draw some like vines coming out, almost like you're drawing a tree. A bunch of twigs. But like a bunch of like mini cracks coming out from the huge one. Uh, and it's kind of like you're drawing a cobweb too. You can think of that. Like a cobweb or like a bunch of little um, sticks on a tree. You can kind of run it into your lip if you want. And that kind of looks good, like a glass face, and it's shattered. And let that dry before you do, like, I have to do blush. The blush right there. There's a bunch of blush under mm -hmm. my cheeks. But I, I didn't know I should have done that first. But now I'm going to use this little thing. So any blush will work, right? Yeah. Just, it needs to be kind of dark blush. And like kind of put it on your lashes and like where the um eyeliner is black it shouldn't make it look a whole lot different 
just don't get it on your watt. All right, so super blushed. And now it's time for the lips. And you're gonna like pretty much draw a little heart on your lips. So I have, um, I can't talk on this, but I have matte lipstick. I might have to get my mommy to help me with this. Okay, so I got the lips done, and then the last and final step is to do some eyeshadow. And it's kind of like brown, dark, like maroon. Not maroon, but like kind of reddish. All right, so here's the finished look with all the eyeliner and the, um, not mascara, but the eyeshadow. And the most important detail, the eyeliner. <laughs> so, and these lips actually look really good. I'm proud of myself because I do that in a lot. And um, my favorite part about this is either the lips or the crack going down or maybe this that looks all right and now i don't know i'm just gonna be a creepy doll mama 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 feed me mama i'm hungry <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching this week's vlog make sure to like comment and subscribe for more vlogs and um if you guys want more tutorials because this is my first one and it's halloween because it's the time of the year and i love you guys bye